How's it going everyone? My name is McQ and I'm super long overdue for a video and especially this video. To help out with my voiceover career and with the unknowingness of where I'm going to live in the next 5, 10 years, heck even tomorrow, I wanted to kind of future proof uh, my experience, my career I guess you can call it, by spending a lot of money on what is known as a studio bricks. Now these are very high-end sound booths for those that aren't, I guess, uh, voiceover savvy. Basically, they're just isolated rooms that are just very good to record audio in. I wanted to do originally a, I guess, a video of me just building the dang thing, but honestly, there's enough videos on YouTube of people, like, putting it together. I didn't think it was that necessary. Plus, I was still trying to figure it out, and I had to, like, pause the video of me just, like, putting it together, and, like, you know what? If people really wanted to watch my butt just, like, move at, like, like a 1.5 speed montage reel, they can just like, they can just go watch someone else's butt at a 1.5 speed making their own studio bricks. So here we have the studio bricks in a room of my house that, yeah, that, it's obviously in my house. But anyways, uh, I will just post a picture of the dimensions because I am a voice actor, not a mathematician. I can use a ruler, but I, uh, uh, well, wh wh why do you think uh, I went into acting? So, honestly, not that bad to set up. Uh, some of the parts are a little bit heavier. The door is obviously where all the weight is. Um, you're definitely gonna need two people, maybe even three people just to be safe to get that sucker in. Inside, I put a couple extra blankets and some pillows just for uh, my sake. So I just run a pretty old Mac laptop connected to a Focusrite 2i2 uh, as my uh, interface. I'm using Adobe Audition and um, on the top part of the screen is just a, I don't know, some random TV screen that I got off Amazon or something that uh, suited my needs and that's where I have my scripts. That way I can still be reading my scripts and it's right in front of me and I'm not looking down at my phone so that way I am just always facing the microphone. This is where I used to record in this tiny tiny closet. Uh, I had a blanket over me and behind me and a bunch of pillows stacked against the walls because that was the best place that I could record. I literally couldn't move my head otherwise uh, the, my head would just make noise rubbing against the um, blanket above me and that would pick up in the microphone. I li literally could not move at all. So this is a huge improvement. I got a little bit more room. And down here you can see that there is a uh, cord port that can plug into stuff outside. Interestingly enough, uh, this was the only space that I could accommodate this uh, Studio Bricks uh, uh, big old booth man. and. I had to put this right next to an air conditioner. So every time I record, I have to turn off my fan and my AC or my heater or whatever season I'm in. It certainly makes it a little bit hot in here, but I mean, hey, that, that just comes with the job. If you actually pull up on the handle, it makes the Studio Bricks airtight. The other problem I have is I have a bird and sometimes it can hear me and it ruins my recording session. It's not soundproof, but it does a pretty damn good job. That's what I thought. So usually I have a little webcam, so uh, in case I need to be face to face for whatever reason, um, but it kind of sucks and it's mostly uh, just there for utility, so I'm just gonna use this camera for now. With no air conditioning and hopefully no bird squawking, this is what the Studio Bricks sounds like when uh, there's uh, uh, a minimum uh, 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 noise. My stomach's a little bit rumbly, so you might have heard my stomach in there, but it is pretty dang quiet. Now, I will uh, am admit that in my closet space, um, the uh, it was actually quieter in my closet space. Mostly because that's kind of in the corner of the room and uh, it's a lot easier to soundproof it versus where this booth is right now. It's kind of in the main thoroughfare of my house, I suppose you can call it. So there's definitely a lot of more outside noise, but honestly, I'm just happy I don't have to, like, hover over my phone and just, like, not move at all. It it's fantastic.
And there we go, my studio bricks. Now, it, uh, getting one of these is definitely not cheap. Uh, it was very expensive to get, so definitely consult your uh, funds to see if you can actually afford it. And it definitely takes a lot of space to put it in. It is, it is a big old sucker, but I am super happy with it. I'm future proofing my career, so that is just already just like a large chunk of me not having to worry about things. I don't have to worry about like moving and finding a place where, oh, it's just a quiet place. Finding a spot that's like the perfect closet that I can record. I, I just, psh, I just poop it out my studio bricks, just poop it out wherever I want to put it and I'm pretty much good to go. I will say though, real quick, that while looking to construct it, the instructions to putting it together weren't that Clear. There are some YouTube videos that I had to follow uh, to figure out how to put it together. It was mostly the interior that was difficult to put together. I know it sounds super weird. The panels actually uh, are like, they come with foam on the panel itself, but it was mostly like the, uh, the mic arm that was super confusing to put together. I don't know why. It, it was just so hard and no uh, uh, YouTube video I had or I saw on the internet covered that so i was just struggling in fact i think there was like a couple of days where i just couldn't record because i couldn't figure out how to put the boom uh the, the mic arm on the walls but that's gonna do it for me so thank you everyone so much for watching i know it's been a while since i've uh uploaded a video and i've been uh it's just been a whirlwind of stuff uh there's a lot of stuff going on uh in my life that i hope to uh tell you guys shortly but in the meantime have a great day thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video see you guys later